Hi Q, season two, episode one. This looks like a dream sequence. Or a flashback. I can't wait to see if and how the meaning of this evolves, because we've seen this multiple times now. The view from the top, the wall in front of me. That's new, right? The view I can never see on my own. Oh, there's so much optimism for this season already. I'm so excited. I feel like... Oh yeah, new opening. Hell yeah. I feel like season one ended so perfectly. We're primed. The seniors are on board. We've experienced defeat and gotten back up. Is that a new girl character? <laughs> oh, she's like very prominently featured. Could this be a love interest? I think at the end of last episode, I predicted that the only potential candidate for a love story was Daichi. <laughs> I might eat my words. And drinking. Wait, what? <laughs> hold on a second. Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, maybe she's a teacher. I thought she was like a freshman or something. Why am I so focused on the... All right, let's move on. Whoa, there's a whole roster of female characters. They heard my comments <laughs> from the future. Episode one, let's go to Tokyo. We're 100% going. There's no question. And also we're gonna win this time. I'm calling it right now. In episode one of season two, I'm calling it victory. Oh, he's trying. He's trying. It means a lot. Oh, is also learning a, learning a lot. <laughs> they look so much better. I guess that's the point, right? There's probably been a time skip. Lots of training. Lots of late hours. No sleep. No homework. It's trademark. <laughs> This game ends up being a weird recap of its own. Foreshadowing, maybe? He has to have the... Maybe the biggest chip on his shoulder. Damn, he actually made that? That's insane. This is great to watch, but at the same time, this is giving me the feeling of the calm before the storm. We gotta lay the groundwork for season two. Is he growing? Is he a little bit bigger? And it does feel like there's a little bit of an upgrade. Some of these shots are pretty great. <laughs> Coach's dream. A plus volleyball student teammate. Not one weak link except for Suki again. Suki again not looking. Always Suki. It's not like we have anything better to do. No school, no girls, no hobbies. Just volleyball. It's always volleyball. Volleyball forever. Time to develop a friendly rivalry so we can also fall in love with a whole other set of characters. Already? Oh, I thought it meant the tournament. Good man. Nice of him. It's funny to look back at that match and think that I was invested in the outcome to a certain extent in the perspective of what came after it. On a separate note, what is this poster action happening in the locker room? That is a highly niche taste. Whatever helps you get motivated, I guess. I don't know, I just have so much faith in their ability to win now after seeing the tournament. I want to live in the world of Haikyuu. Maybe not volleyball, but just this atmosphere, the spirit and positivity. Teacher. It's your young teacher. Oh, it's not how I thought. I thought it was going to be the blonde girl. <laughs> Everybody reacts that way to her. Oh. It's always Oikawa. Oikawa all the time. That's intense. Oh, it's yeah, they took a loss too. They're almost parallel teams at this point. They both lost. They both won it. Oh, Japan? When he moved on to like an official league, is it pro? Yeah, piggybacking off the last episode. There's no time for illusions. It's brutal truth. 
カラスの名物ハートブレイクヒルよし Only the Castify Key would be excited about running up a hill no less よーい、no, Of course it's a race <laughs> Forgetting that they have 10, 10 reps They'll train themselves. <laughs> They're really lingering on this. Makes it extra intense. Are they gonna run into a rival team again? Like last time? Oh no, <laughs> the timing. Now that just has a radar. Why are they saying Japan in English? <laughs> First meeting. He looks like he's 25 years old. He just makes everyone else look like children. <laughs> oh, taking advantage of the moment. Oh, they're on his radar too. What an honor. Oh, he laid on a challenge. I was about to say, it's too early to say, but I feel like people who are really, really good at things, they love meeting people with talent, and they'll lay down tests, but the goal of the test is not antagonistic. It's not to one-up them. He doesn't need to one-up anyone. He already has. It's an opportunity for them to join his small world, to enter into his circle. He's a fan of volleyball, and he's really good at it, which means he has certain intrinsic skills, certain personality traits that are geared towards excellence generally, and that's kind of a small world. And this might be putting too strong a point on it, but it can be a little bit lonely. You want people to join you. To me, though I don't know for sure, this feels like a sign of respect, this whole interaction. Even if his manner is a, a little bit aggressive, by the same token, because he has so many things of value, it would be really easy for Hinata and Kagayama to disqualify themselves by showing things like weakness or making excuses. Damn, he's just gunning it. With his 25 year old legs. Honestly, it beats 10 times up that hill. He's watching them, he's paying attention. They've done a great job having this character's impact be massive. He's got quite a commanding presence. Also, didn't they technically just ditch practice? Doing some reconnaissance. This is gonna be like such a hot topic when they get back and tell the team. <laughs> oh, that's some crazy training. You haven't earned the right. You haven't earned the right to a name yet. Kageyama. Oh, wow, he's nicer than I am. <laughs> oh, that stinks. Because we moved past that, but his reputation still exists. Don't, don't praise Oikawa now. That's a sensitive subject for us. This guy's volleyball Jesus, look at him. He's glowing. <laughs> He's speaking in parables. Oh, wow. I don't know. Uh, like, he's kind of gruff, but I actually feel like he's sort of nice. Nice is not the right word. He feels approachable to me, and I think it's a combination of the fact that you can feel who he is pretty quickly, I think. That's my initial feeling about him. And also, although he's critical, it doesn't feel like there's malice behind it. It just feels like he's evaluating things very, very, very objectively. And I think actually part of the growth I like from the characters, especially in the latter part of season one, was their ability to look at the harshness of the game and their own ability and come to grips with the fact that they got outplayed and take responsibility for that. So they're in good company. It's a very good matchup, the three of them. He's a rival, so I don't know which way it'll go, but just given their personalities, I actually feel like he would be a great mentor and might be someone who ended up really caring. It's just that his method of caring would be brute force making you better at the game without caring at all about how you feel because he lives in a world of singular focus. And so he probably expects the same of anyone who wants to follow in his footsteps. It would be radically different if he hadn't some insecurity about who he was or he had some other emotional things at play that led him to purposely try to be taking Hinata and Kagayama down a peg out of something like bitterness or whatever. This isn't that. It doesn't feel that way to me. And I think that's generally true. It feels qualitatively different when someone is hitting you with harshness out of concern or regard for a common goal versus when it's coming from their own emotional baggage, self-preservation, fear, secretly despising you, etc. Oh, oh, damn, what the heck? 
That is the highest vertical known to man. Ten points for Gryffindor. <laughs> Cock at my nose, he's used to it. Concrete Sushin. Hinata Shoyo this. Damn. It's bold as hell from Hinata. Anata of Buttaoste. I feel like he'll like this. He'll actually appreciate this, I, I think, if I'm reading it correctly. It's exciting. It's like, ah, someone gets it. Volleyball is life. Volleyball is eternal. Like the fruit rising from the fields. That wouldn't stop him from crushing them, though. Although the eagles got two birds. <laughs> They're breaking a lot of rules right now. It's worth it for volleyball. <laughs> Maybe Kagam could think bigger, I don't know. Especially the vertical jumps, my god. <laughs> Alright, he covered both of them. There it is, yeah, I thought so. I love his eyes. This character design is so cool. Maybe it's time to get some of those college games going for exhibitions. Yeah, yeah. Right now he sounds like the, the parents and Peanuts. Oh, there you go. That's a way to get him motivated. And that's how he got the whole team to get A's. Anything but taking my dear sweet, sweet volleyball from me. Beach training! <laughs> it's been a long time. Yeah, this this show just lends itself so naturally to a beach episode. When is that happening? Beach volleyball. I feel like it's been a long time since we've had beach training on this channel, which is a damn crime. When do the girls show up? <laughs> <laughs> it's also pretty cool, I think, that they're not at all discarding what they've built. They're using all the tools we have. So Oyakawa is still a big part of it. What is it? Nekomada? They are still around. We're going to see them soon, presumably. There's no waste, which is pretty impressive for an ensemble cast of this size. And I'm sure we're adding more soon. Seems like we'll get a, a freshman. That's a nice shot. That was a cool ending. Yeah, it seems like we'll get at least one freshman recruit and we're going to be reunited with a familiar team. And then Oyokawa, maybe the finals again. The fact that they set up this character in episode one makes it seem like this is definitely a thing that's going to happen. The show surprised me in the past, but yeah, I'm staying true to my prediction of meeting in the finals. And I'm also predicting a victory. I got faith, I believe, wholeheartedly in their ability to win. I don't even think they have to be better than that team. It's sports, right? And it's a championship tournament. So you get within range of their ability. You fall within that margin, the margin of chance. You play your heart out for one game and you can take down a beast. My favorite part of this by far, I think, this first episode, was the introduction of, of Japan. He's way cooler than I expected, and his coolness actually doesn't come from his ability, it comes from how great he looks. But more importantly, the fact that actually he seems, again, nice is not the right word, decent, I think would be a better way to say that. He seems kind of like an apex dude in a good way. A great rival, I mean, beyond a rival, because they're reaching way, way up just to be in his level. So it feels almost more like a, a mentor thing, even though they're on opposing sides. He definitely took notice, as he should. I'm really excited to see where that relationship goes. Maybe the two of them will revisit this school, that would be cool.